still not afraid to speak out against injustice anywhere. Evelyn Turner and her now deceased husband Albert lived the civil rights movement. Throughout the nation, even in Canada, there were marches through the streets of towns and cities. My husband was the second in line, the guy with the white cap. You can see him on uh, all the pictures. He was running, trying to help an old lady that had fallen down. She stayed home that day. Albert Turner often told her if he got arrested or worse, her job was to take care of the kids. But the job of fighting for civil rights never ended. Albert Turner went on to form the Perry County Civil League based in Marion, Alabama, building political power in the black community. They didn't want us to be in charge. It's the more black folks in Perry County than it is white. In 1984, Evelyn's husband, Albert, and fellow Civil League member named Spencer Hogue began a new absentee ballot campaign that led straight to the confrontation of her lifetime. The confrontation that brought her face to face with a man now poised to become the next Attorney General of the United States. Every time they mention that man's name, I can't stand him. That man's name is Jeff Sessions, Alabama's U.S. Senator, who in 1984 was the U.S. Attorney for Southern Alabama, and the man who tried to put Evelyn, her husband, and Spencer Hogue in prison for decades. They were called the Marion Three. We were just trying to help people. We have been helping people for over, I don't know how many years. Jeff Sessions did not see it that way. Based on complaints he said came from black office holders along with black voters who said their absentee ballots had been tampered with, Sessions brought a vote fraud conspiracy case to a federal grand jury and indicted the Marion Three on 29 counts. The charges carried so much potential prison time, it still scares Evelyn Turner to this day. If anybody gonna put you in jail for 250 years, how would you feel? The defense attorney fact sheet said race was a factor. Our contention that this is a one-sided investigation designed to intimidate black voters. Civil rights leaders from across the country rallied behind the Marion Three. To them, it was a clear case of a U.S. attorney trying to prevent blacks in Alabama from gaining power. National figures came to their defense. Witnesses for the prosecution began changing their stories. Sessions would later explain his two-lawyer federal prosecution team was understaffed and unprepared to handle the vigorous defense. It took the jury just a few hours to return its verdict. The headline the next day would say it all. The Marion Three acquitted on all charges. Evelyn Turner, the last living member of the Marion Three, says to this day she believes the prosecution and the federal prosecutor were motivated by race. Session has not changed. Have you ever known a leopard to change his spots? I haven't. Every time I see one, his spots still there. Zebra, still strike. Session is still a racist. But there was harm done, and Albert Turner Jr.'s 80-year-old mother can't bring herself to forgive what Jeff Sessions did, prosecuting the Marion Three. He never said, I'm sorry, Ms. Turner, I put you through that, that it was my job. He ain't, he ever told me that. And why should I forgive him? But I know if I, in order for me to get to heaven, I'm gonna have to forgive him, but I'll never forget as long as I stay black. I will not forget it.